What's up everyone? Christian Duke, strengthetics.com. Let me start this video out by saying that I am a fervent supporter of supplement freedom. I don't believe that, you know, we should have most of the laws that we have on supplements. However, we do. And um, I find it to be very, very interesting how the whole research chems and, you know, the peptide mark and all that, that's going to be coming to an end here in about two weeks. They were never meant for human consumption, but it's just, it's, it's interesting because it, it's become a whole new subculture, kind of like the myths on bodybuilding.com, the whole bro science thing. Well, now the not for human consumption has become its own hashtag and people talk in code about, you know, my rat needs this and my rat needs that. And, you know, it's one thing to buy vials and pretend like you have like a chemistry kit at home and like your Doogie Hauser. And I get it. You know, again, I am a fervent believer in supplement freedom. However, the loophole isn't really much of a loophole. And now I feel like it's become more brazen, more blatant, because it's one thing to get vials that you could maybe experiment with in a lab at home if you have one of those, but now they're selling powders and pills. Are you gonna give pills to a rat? I don't know, it's really strange. It's really strange. And also now the products aren't just like, you know, an Osterine or a Legandrol or whatever, a Stenobolic. Now, well, some of those aren't even really peptides. Some of them, well, some, they're all peptides, but some of them are SARMs and some of them aren't. But what I'm saying is, it's one thing to have vials and say, well, I wonder what happens if I mix Osterine with Stenobolic or T-Ball or whatever, but now you have products that are already mixed. And on top of that, they're in pill form, powder form, forms that humans would use. And sometimes with labels such as pre-workout, well, pre-workout is no longer research, it's a formulated product. I'm just saying guys that again, for the third time, I am a fervent believer in supplement freedom. However, we do have these laws in place. The law on the SARMs is going into effect uh, or the research comes going into effect or actually it's the SARM Control Act, I believe, going into effect in a couple of weeks. And as silly as I think it is and as big of a waste of government resources as I think it is, it's going to be enforced. And that's one thing. And the loophole really is what this video is about. I just think it's hilarious how people are talking, you know, not for human consumption or some people do videos and they're like, uh, nobody should use these. I went ahead and used these. It's like very, very hokey. You know what I mean? Very, very hokey. And my only issue I would say with, with uh, you know, research cams and peptides and SARMs and all that, aside from the fact that, you know, they're not for human consumption, is there's no quality control. You know what I mean? Yeah, some people say they go and have them tested, but overall there's no quality control. There's no uh, really means of recourse either. You know what I mean? It, it's almost akin to uh, UGLs, you know what I mean? And when you're dealing with a UGL, what are you gonna say? You know what I mean? I would never deal with a UGL. I've never used uh, gear either, but if you use it, go to a doctor. You know, a licensed healthcare professional. Have your blood work checked. Make sure that your liver enzymes are there. Make sure you don't have blood pressure issues. Get a full panel, live large, you know? Live lavishly once, it's your health. But you know, you're buying stuff made in bathtubs and coming from all over the world, you know, from some guy who could probably sell you a used car and tell you that it works great and it breaks down, down the block, you know what I mean?